Aloha, familia. It's been a minute since New York. In this video, I'll be talking about how I follow my emotional guidance system, or my inner GPS, my EGS, emotional guidance. So I'm gonna wait a few minutes for some people to get on. And you may have noticed I'm in Texas. So the original plan was to head to Europe, to head to Berlin and train more deeply in bioenergetics and Osho meditations. However, leading up to Berlin and leading up to really the past two weeks since leaving Encinitas, going through the Bay Area, doing a retreat, getting into a lot of this epic feeling and activation and event space, I've started to realize that maybe this wasn't the path. And the way I realized that was feeling into it, feeling into it. So I wanna, I wanna address something real quick. When you saw this title, and when people see this title, I think that there may be this idea in the collective, especially in America, and possibly even for men especially. I'm speaking to you men. If you're tuning in, I'd love for you to comment, tell me where you're tuning in from, and get involved in this conversation. Let me know what you think. But are you thinking that emotions or being emotional is wrong? Do you think this is wrong? Like you're being too emotional. You fe you're feeling too much. You're, you're not clear-headed. You're not in your head. You're too emotional. And so, although emotions can be very powerful and sometimes out of control powerful, this does not mean they're not giving you very powerful information. And if you look out at the world, what you often will see is a world run by the head completely. Like we're just living right here, right in this area. Do you want to live in a reality? Do you want to live in a world? Do you want to be in a life that's run in the head only? I tried. I did it for years. And I see people doing it all the time. I see my clients doing it. I see friends and family doing it. And I see myself doing it when I'm not sourced in my emotional guidance system. In this powerful way of the heart and the feeling of sensation. Because it's in the body. As Nako says, shout out to a dear medicine brother. The body talks. The body talks and meditation helps. The body talks. How does the body talk? It doesn't talk with a thought. It doesn't talk with thoughts. It talks with emotional power and energy and emotional sensations that are very physical. They're very felt. They're very like here. They're not a concept. They're not abstract. And as a man, I've learned that this is actually the source of a lot of my power is that emotional power. Although I've also refined my intellect. I do both. And so one is not worse than the other. One is not worse than the other. One is not better than the other. And so this is, this is crazy. If you're vibing with this, I invite you to like, share this video and comment with how emotional guidance plays out for you. But back to kind of my journey and an update on my journey right now. My original plan was to go to Europe. After New York, I just got done with a bioenergetics Osho meditation training with Elliot Hulse, all about masculine initiation, rites of passage. It was very powerful. But what it did was shake me so much and open me so much that following the emotional guidance, there wasn't energy behind this plan. There wasn't power behind this plan of wanting to go and follow through is something that no longer resonated with me. And it was a tough decision, but following my emotional guidance, I'm now back home where I'm from in Texas and spending some time grounding and building before the next step of my journey. Hannah, what's up, baby girl? Love you so much. I want to see you soon. Anyone else watching this, I invite you to drop some comments. I'm seeing some powerful comments on here and I want to engage with you. And so, yeah, Kayla, I always get told to use the rational side of my brain. Well, emotions can create unhealthy reactions because they're, they're usually way more powerful than thoughts. Like in my experience, 10 times, 100 times more powerful than the rational side. However, emotions contain more information. This is why they're more powerful. I can have a thought like, oh, I should start a business. It's a powerful thought. It could be an earth-changing thought. 
But until you feel in your body a surge of like, like you're coming to tears or rage or like, it's very intense. And that's why people run from them. That's why I've run from them. That's why I've numbed myself from them. Actually, you got to listen to them. And we haven't been given the tools. Here's the number one tool to listen to your emotions. Breath. Get into the body and breathe deep into the chest, but deeper down into the belly and even deeper down into your sex centers, into your balls if you're a man, into your yoni if you're a woman, and feel, feel fully. And you have to get very still and quiet. You have to get very still and quiet to feel fully what's happening. And that's why emotions are so powerful and they can be so gnarly. Elias, wow. Healing to you, brother. Had a car accident today, barely survived. I don't have any feeling. I think I'm still in the shock. Brother, I'm sending you so much, so much love and feeling. And yeah, the human body in shock and in survival situations can shut down sensation and emotion. But make no mistake, it is it is there. So I wish you like relaxation and reset. And hopefully you get really clear and you feel feel it slowly and, and take time for yourself and compassion brother I'm, I'm glad you survived i'm glad you're alive seriously yes women are not crazy for using their hearts this is this is something men have suffered under men don't believe that emotions contain useful information in my experience and they often shut them down in favor of just their heads which has gotten us into a shitty situation where we're dumping industrial waste and toxins into our oceans and our water We're also running economies into the ground, not realizing that our children and their children's children and their children's children out seven generations are going to have to live in the society as well. And that's a society that would be created only from the head. Beautiful technological innovation, beautiful ideological conceptual systems. However, the repressed returns. And so without tapping into emotional guidance and reawakening the tools and the techniques which is one of the things i'm learning is very important for me and is something i'm working with in all the events and coaching work that i do and that i offer myself to we need to reawaken these strategies and it's all the body it's all your temple it's not in your head it's not in a concept it's in physical visceral experience so here's my challenge to you now this is vibing with you. I want you to tag someone in this video that needs to hear this and or share this video with your friends and family and your loved ones, your tribe, because this is, this is going to become more and more important as things become more intense on the planet. And make no mistake, things are getting better all the time. Things are getting better and better in every way. It can just be hard to see because the mainstream wants us to focus on negative. And so not going to happen. I'm going to I'm going to focus on what's positive, and that is the reawakening of emotional modalities, listening to the information of emotions, reawakening what's really important, which is the felt sense of the earth and our body, and aligning that with the superpowers of our mind. Aligning that with the superpowers of the mind so both can come together in harmony. This is the true meaning of the yin-yang. This is the true meaning of masculine and feminine coming to meet and creating that arc of energy, that beautiful polarity. It's not that we suppress one and go all in on the other. Both are, both are not going to be healthy. Right now, it's the mental suppressing the emotional heavily in Western civilization, which is why we need to flip. We get to flip back into emotional awareness. However, there are people, and myself, I've done this in my worst, writing pure emotion and going all in on emotion and completely leaving logic and conceptual thought out of it. This is also dangerous. This is also very dangerous. And so you can't have black without white. Alan Watts, Elliot was dropping this at the Grounding Man retreat. It's one of my favorite quotes as well from Alan Watts. He's like, to set up black versus white and say, only black can win, only black can win from now on, only black will win, is absurdity and is actually completely misaligned with nature in the life process. Well, no, how about white only wins? It's black versus white. Okay, white versus black. And this is conceptual. This is 
race, this is creed, this is religion, this is gender, this is any concept or ideology. White versus black, right? Well, only white can win. I'm going to only let white win. Only logic, only logic, no emotion. Emotion's too dangerous, too unpredictable. I don't understand it. It's a far out trip, man. That's what Alan used to say. That's a far out trip and it's not true. It's not true. Not only is it not true, it's impossible. It's impossible. The repressed will return. So the goal for me and my work and for you, I imagine, is to find the balance of both sides. We have to balance both. And for me and my emotional guidance system, it's going to give me the richest information. Then my mind, which can be divinely inspired and codify it, comes into play. And so that's my process is like codifying those together. And this is the real work. This is the real work as far as I'm concerned. I've been raw and deep in it the last week. I love you all. Sending you so much love from Texas. It's good to be back in old Texas. Getting back in my roots. Although I don't, don't eat barbecue anymore, I, I still love the culture. Love you guys so much. Like, share, and comment on this video. I'm going to drop a link in the comments to my website. And I'm actually accepting clients now. 30-day coaching program. If you want to deep dive and learn techniques, state change strategies, setting goals, and have radical accountability to tapping into your emotional guidance and truly listening to your heart and then taking radical action in your life so you can unblock your health, your wealth, and your well-being, click the link in the comments. Love you guys. Signing off.